Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to week number seven in Biology 120. We've got a lot going on. You've got to finish up those final projects, so, and I will be talking about that. So let's see what we've got going on. All right, last week you did a study of asexual versus sexual reproduction. You compared them, um, discussed the advantages and disadvantages of each. Uh, we talked a little bit about heredity. We did have discussions about nature versus nurture, nurture, whether your genes contribute most of your characteristics to you or whether the environment also helps to influence the organism that you are. And we also discussed some biodiversity. Of course, there has to be biodiversity in organisms in a species in order for that species to remain healthy no matter what challenge comes along. Um, environmental or otherwise. So we did talk some about biodiversity. So this week is all about ecology and ecosystems. Most of your final projects have to do with ecology and ecosystems, except maybe genetic modification. Um, so this week you're going to skim through chapters 44 on ecology, the study of ecosystems, all the organisms that make them up, and their environmental conditions also and 46, which is all about different types of ecosystems. Read through the Module 7 overview and watch the video on Lake Erie, and I'm going to post another one on the red tides in Florida. I will post this also in my announcements so that you can watch that because Florida in particular has had a rough time the last few years with all the algal blooms and the red tides. So. Um, watch that because that is just devastating and it all comes from more and more development in the state of Florida and more waste being dumped out into the ocean and that means nutrient overload and that means red tides and algal blooms. Your discussion board postings this week are optional which is interesting but there are a number of you, there are a couple of you, who are doing eutrophication of Lake Erie, and that's all about this discussion board posting. So please do chime in and help us understand this process of eutrophication. We're going to talk about eutrophication, the phosphorus cycle, because that's the main waste product, pollutant, fertilizer that gets into these waterways that causes these algal blooms. Um, wastes and also energy and nutrient flow. So the discussion board postings this week are optional. We're trying to give you a break because you have that final project due this week. All right, so let's talk about the final project. It is worth 260 points out of your 1,000 points that you earn for this course. You can see that it is a huge grade, so it is extremely important. And it's ex extremely important that you do it correctly. The format of this is all slides, like PowerPoint slides. If you don't want to use PowerPoint, use Google Slides or something else. But there are, you know, there are ways that you can make slides. PowerPoint is the um, most common way. You're going to include speaker's notes at the bottom of each slide. This will give more of an explanation. Just think of speaker's notes as what you would be saying to your audience, explaining the slide that you're showing, okay? You, you're going to need the speaker's notes. Put them at the bottom of the slides. I don't want a separate document. Please don't put a separate document. Those are not speaker's notes. If you were using this PowerPoint presentation, you would be showing this on the screen and you could see the speaker's notes there. Okay, all right, include all three milestones, milestone one, two, three, every item in all of them. That makes up your final project. Go back and read the grading for all of these different milestones and fix the sections that need to be fixed. One thing that I have seen over and over, which I got at the bottom of this, is labeling of sections. I'm going to put an example of a final project, the beginnings one anyway, into um, our announcements today so that you can see what it should look like. Uh, so include the section headings. This is extremely important. Otherwise, how am I going to know what you're calling the where section of the 
the final project. If you don't have it written on your slide, I, I, I'm just supposed to magically know. No, I, I'm not going to. So that's important. Do look back at those graded rubrics and make those changes because I've given you suggestions. I have told you where something is missing. I've told you where something is not complete. So please do go back and fix all of those. <clears throat> In a presentation, you need to include some imagery, some graphics, some data. You do not want to show slide after slide after slide to a group, an audience, that is just full of words. I mean, how boring is that? And then what happens, the speaker usually stands up and reads exactly what is on the slide. I have never seen worse presentations in my life than that type right there because I can read for myself. I want you to explain things to me, right? And that's what those speaker's notes are about. Don't forget to add the data. I know that I've said that twice, but don't forget to add data that helps support your case, help support your viewpoint. Okay, that's very important. And then down at the bottom, I'll emphasize again, label, label, label all the sections. Hang on, hang on just a second. Okay, so here's the rubric, right? For the final project, there are all these sections. There are all these sections. See right there, all those sections. And the rubric is set up exactly like the sections. So I am looking for the introduction. I am looking for the where, the who, the how. I'm looking for education and why that's so important. I'm looking for the analysis of the biological concepts that are going to have something to do with your topic. Okay, so I'm looking for those sections and that's why you need to label them. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. This is an extremely important grade. So let me know if you have any questions as you go. I will be glad to answer them. And then I also wanted to remind you that Sunday, June the 27th is the deadline for turning in everything in this course. At 11.59, that is the last minute, 11.59 on June 27th, that is the last moment that you can turn something into this course. You, the last moment that you can put something into the course to be graded. So I want you to remember this deadline because after that you can't add anything and neither can I. So don't send it to me because I can't add it either. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to remind you about the deadline for everything. And as always, I am here for you, so let me know if you need anything. m.sigmund at snhu.edu. I will be glad to answer your questions. I hope that you have a wonderful week. I know that you're going to be busy with these final projects, uh, but I hope that you have a wonderful week.